Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Hey, everybody, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and this is a tiny turtle pendant. I put these on Mount Pisca, and I have come up with a way with my laser to add my logo to the bottom. Friends, let me show you what I do. All right, friends. So, first, this is the turtle. I do not know where I got it from. Right here, I have filled in the tail hole. So that way when I cut it out of this shape, it leaves it blank. And then I added a pin so we can snap those in place out at the laser. Next up, I went to Canva. I signed in with Google. So I simply created an Instagram post. If you open this up, I liked Instagram because I knew it was going to be square. I added a chunk of text. I'll put this to the side. When I added the text box, it went in just like that. I, of course, typed my HL Mod Tech. I did put a space there. And then to make it go around, I simply chose Effects, and I chose Curve. Then I could squeeze it into place. I adjusted the curve to get the exact style I wanted. There are a ton of fonts to pick. I went through and found something that I thought was cool. You can see that's how easily you can switch. I'm going to simply delete that because I like my other one better. I will get this back in place. And then, friends, this is just a YouTube image. I brought it in as an upload. You can see I also had other images I was playing with. But that's the one I chose to put in this project. I wrapped it up by doing File. And I did Download. And then I chose a PNG, kept all these sizes, and just hit download. And I'll save it in my downloads folder. Now for laser cutting, I want that to be black and white. So I'm going to take it to Pixlr real quick. I will open the image. As I mentioned, it's in my downloads. And then I'm simply going to click on adjust and hit black and white. And that's done. The final step is to save it. I'm going to keep high. I'm going to do JPEG and hit save just like that. Friends, it's time to get our height set correctly. I'm gonna raise this way up and then I've got a new strategy where I take this little shim in between it and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna slide this under, let's tighten it down and notice it's pretty snug. See how that pulls? Now when I pull that out, I've got the exact amount I want. So it's just a tiny little shim. It was actually sent with the laser cutter for us to engrave. I have found a different use for it. Friends, we are in light burn. Let me open up my project. I called it Turtle. I zoomed in and I made this less than two centimeters across. I measured my turtle and that's what it fit. This way I was sure it would land on the turtle the way I wanted. If we go to cuts and layers, you can see it as an image. I am using 6,000 for my speed, 40% for the power, one pass, and I did an interval of 0.13 millimeters. Friends, let's fire up the laser and get this started. So the first step, of course, is to switch to the correct laser. There is the flying bear. That COM port kicks in and boom, we're ready to go. Now to get this to a place so you can see it better on camera, I'm gonna do shift nudge twice forward and twice to the right. Now my little jig, I intentionally made this plastic 40 by 40. So I know that if I get it so it lines up with the 40 by 40 of the laser head, that it is centered. Now I'm going to do control nudge to move it forward one click, two clicks. So there I'm checking for that tail. That looks good. And then I'm going to do one click back with control nudge back. Let's do a quick frame to make sure it's doing what I expect it to. That looks really awesome. At this point, friends, let's grab some safety glasses and make something magical. All right, let's see what we made. Oh my gosh, gotta get the right angle to read it, but that turned out 
absolutely awesome. Friends, you can see I am a tiny bit left, but those are things I'm gonna just keep adjusting as I get the process a little better. Here's an added bonus, friends. I have got it set exactly 30 centimeters to the right, so I can just do three normal nudges because I have it set to a 10 millimeter nudge. I'll hit frame just so we can see. Now this time it's printing on yellow. Let's grab some safety glasses and see how it works. And friends, there you have it. Once again, got to get it the right angle. But dug on it, that is pretty darn sweet. Taking a cute little PLA turtle and adding my logo using several programs and the Flying Bear Laser Man Laser Cutter. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.